Want to know a secret weapon for language learning that even most teachers don't know about? Today, we're diving into three improv games that will revolutionize how your child learns language. And it can be any language, even the child's native one. These aren't just any games. They are the kind used in theater. I encourage you to stay all the way to the end of the video because I have a bonus game that your child can play independently, even without you. And by the way, hi, I'm Bill and I taught languages for over a decade, two of them. Let's unlock your child's inner genius. The first game is called Alien Interpreter. But before I reveal how it works, can you guess how speaking gibberish could possibly help your child learn a language? Here's the secret. It's all about active listening and creativity. This game is perfect for children from three years and up, and it's simpler than you might think. Ready? Here's how it works. One of you just talk gibberish and the other one translates quote unquote to English. It's funny when mommy tries to be the alien. She sounds like a confused cow. The translation is just pure fantasy, of course, and obviously it's the most challenging to be the interpreter, so you, as the parent, could take that role first. Palenos, krateta tambala. He is saying that... Uh, how are you? Where do you live? Frolek, trep, kralone, paratit, pratot, knashet, knashit, kraloro. Do you live in Spain, Thailand, Russia? China. Where do you live? Margaret, Kreper to do. Pelty, 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 pelty. He says, don't do that. That is not good. No, 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 no. Plena foot, plena fat, krelente, krelente, paralyte, kudulus, nipip. He says, you can play something else, but not this game now. Alien game is very fun to play because you make up new words all the time. Like you say funny words that doesn't exist and sometimes it's funny to hear that Then we laugh all day. I like it when I, I am being the interpreter. I like daddy being the alien because he is more funnier than I'm being the alien. What do you think makes these three games that we'll look at today so special? Well, they all emphasize learning language through natural day-to-day -day life instead of just using an app or a book or something like that. This is crucial. After all, that's how our children really learn a language, whether it's their native language or a secondary one. This game is a fantastic way to boost your child's language skills in several ways. First, it encourages active listening. The child pays close attention to the gibberish speaker's tone and body language. The second point is that it helps develop creativity and improvisational skills. Third, even when the child is the alien, he will pick up new words and phrases used by you as the interpreter. Overall, this game helps children become more comfortable with expressing themselves in the target language and also enjoying themselves at the same time. Now that you mastered the art of alien communication, are you ready to take on a challenge for your kid? And actually, even for yourself, to tell you the truth, I sometimes have difficulties with this particular language learning game myself. 
So this will push your child's language skills to new heights. But don't worry, later I'll show you how to make it easier if needed. This can really be addictive. As a matter of fact, uh, after I mentioned it to my student's father, he had to play it with his child every day for a whole year. His son basically refused to go to bed without playing the game. This particular Impro game is suitable for children from 7 years and up, in my opinion. It's easy to understand but harder to do. You have a conversation with your kid, but every time you start a sentence, it has to begin with a certain letter, and that letter follows the order of the alphabet. For example, the first sentence, you start with an A, then the child has to talk back starting with the letter B, and so on. I always get stuck on Q and X. Why don't we have more words with Q and X? Cecilia told me about you. She said that you were a lot of fun. Did she say fun? Exactly. Oh, I don't know. Fine. Fine. Giddy up, cowboy. <laughs> Give me some good lines here. How do you mean? I said, giddy up, cowboy. Let's have some fun. Joking? Are you joking? Kilimanjaro wasn't joking when the lava fl you know, skirted out of the volcano. Lemon. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> my oh my, you certainly talk a lot of strange sentences. No. <laughs> Oops, there it is again. That word we're not supposed to say in theater class. <laughs> Qatar is one of the highest mountains in the world. I was hoping that you could talk about it a little bit. Really? Is it true that was the highest mountain in the world? With all these improv games, the context comes out as the conversation unfolds. And it's therefore really important to be positive and never say no. This is a universal theater improvisation principle that helps the development take unexpected turns. It makes it more fun and engaging, and it requires you to be very flexible. Can you guess how this simple game boosts three critical language skills? First of all, it will force your kid to find alternative ways to say a sentence. Second, it's also a sneaky way to practice the alphabet with the child. And finally, number three, this game can help both you and the child make new connections in the brain, since you are constantly forced to come up with new and sometimes weird ways to say a sentence. This particular game might be tricky at first, but don't worry. The more you play, the better you will both be at coming up with creative ways to keep the chat flowing. If you want to make it a little easier in the beginning, you could have a sheet of paper with the alphabet written down. If you have enjoyed these language learning games, you're going to love what's coming next on our channel. But, you know, here's the thing. None of this really matters unless you do something. Without hitting the black button down there, you might miss out on the advanced techniques that can take your child's language skills from good to extraordinary. Now, I did promise you a bonus game, and it's one that might surprise you. 
it's so effective that your child can play it alone. Curious? Indeed you are. But first, we need to talk about game number three, right? Here it is. Buckle up. For this improv acting game, you need a guard and an intruder. Stop there. You cannot go inside here. Why? I'm here to guard the people inside. The guard is to stop the intruder, and the intruder is to get inside. But I'm gonna deliver a purse. You can give it to me, and I will give it to the person you want to deliver it to. I want to deliver by myself. You are not allowed to say no. You have to accept everything that is being said. Nobody's allowed in here, so tell me who you're going to deliver it to. But I saw her over there. Okay, what's her name? Mommy Makatovic. This way, the details from the context for the scene will come out while you're playing. I will tell her to come out to you. Can I visit too? I'm not allowed to let you inside. Why can Mommy Makatovic go in? She has a job to do here today. I have a job here to do today. If you're out of things to say, you lose. Okay. Now, why is this game so great for a kid's language skills? Well, it's like a verbal puzzle that keeps changing. Your child has to think on their feet, coming up with reasons, excuses and explanations on the spot. This really boosts their ability to form sentences quickly and use, you know, persuasive language. It also helps them practice different roles and situations, which is great for expanding vocabulary. This is a really fun way to practice problem solving through language. Your kid will be so caught up in the game, he or she won't even realize that he or she is learning. It's hilarious when Daddy tried to convince me he's gonna be the pizza delivery guy for the hundredth time. Well, what can I say, Selena? You love pizza, right? Okay. Are you ready for the bonus game? That was not a sound effect. Uh, okay, that was me. Take a look at this clip and see if it's not already obvious what we are doing. Start a new story from scratch, please. Leo opened the hidden door and discovered a spiral staircase leading down into the darkness. With a deep breath, he decided to be brave and started to descend. What did Leo find at the bottom of the staircase? A monster that was so big that he he could eat a bird. At the bottom of the staircase, Leo saw a gigantic monster with huge teeth and glowing eyes. The monster looked scary, but it didn't seem angry. What did Leo do next? He ran away from his from All right, the cave. see you later. ChatGPT's storytelling game is a little bit um, short and then he says so fast. I almost cannot hear what he says. Sometimes he speaks fast and sometimes he speaks slow. It's not the same every time. Okay, so if you don't already know, this was a joint effort storytelling with ChatGPT, which is a free chat agent link down below. I will also put the prompt in the description as well. Uh, the best way to do this is to prompt ChatGPT on your computer and then go to the chat on your mobile or your you know, iPad, the device that you're going to use. When you're ready to play with your kid, then you can prompt it to start the story by talking to it, saying start the story instead of saying the whole prompt every time. So which of these games will you try? Daddy, can we play one of these games every day, please? Not you, Selena. I was talking to the parents out there. But to be serious, I would be very interested in hearing how it went for you as a parent. So do keep us posted in the comments down below. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Bye. Please start a story from scratch. You're welcome. You're welcome? What did you actually give me? 
if you say you're welcome, you have to give me I something. I was giving an example of how the story might continue. 